Welcome to the Cabin Fever Challenge website. The address is riflechair.com forward slash cabin dash fever dash challenge. We'll do a quick um, tour through the portal. This uh, center logo here will take you straight to the Facebook group. Here we are. All of the updates. So if you uh, if there's a shooter that has made a submission, it will it will get posted onto here. There's all kinds of uh, cool stuff here on the website. So keep your um, keep yourself attuned to this one. Um, plus, from the Facebook group, you can actually navigate yourself back to the website and or to the rules. So there's uh, there's a link to the rules right there. Let's go back to the um, to the website. So there's a, a link to the rules, which is a PDF file. It's about 140 kilobytes in size. It'll take you here. You can see the version number of the rules at the top. This is version December 28th. <clears throat> there's some links at the top that'll take you to the website and also to the, uh, I guess it's linking to itself for the rules. It's a total of three pages and there's links to the targets and, and everything else that you need. Links to the, uh, the, to the email address, which is how you'll make your submissions as well. This is really cool. Uh, I think you'll enjoy this. This here is, um, of course, these fields are all empty because this is for Cabin Fever Challenge 2022. But if you go to um, all years and scores, you'll see all submissions for not all shooters, but most shooters um, from 2014 up until 2021. So a total of seven years of data right here of all the divisions and all the shooters and all the different kind of rifles that they used. If you go to um, Division 1 all years, this is for uh, just Division 1 alone. That's all there. Um, Division 2 all years and so on. Division 3 all years. And of course with uh, 2022 being what it is, this year we also have Division 6, brand spanking new for Rimfire. So if you're interested in seeing if you're going to run manual repeating rifles, okay, this is kind of where these are our highest scores. This is all in, in order of score. So, you know, placement one to 10, who's shooting and what were they shooting? And what was their time? How many strikes did they have on target? And what was their score? Okay, so there's some there's some benchmark information in here for you to, okay, I want to be able to shoot just just like uh, just like Rifle Chair did here and uh, using a number one Mark III. So that's going to be my target, 10 hits on target, and I'm going to try to do it in 99 seconds. So, I mean, that's going to be my threshold. That's my target. With manual repeating rifles, if you can break the 100 second threshold, you're going to do well. You're going to do well. Anyway, so let's uh, get back to the website. So there's the scores here, so you can see where things have been in the past. Of course, there's the downloadable targets. This is for divisions um, one to uh, seven. No, one to six, sorry. No, sorry, no, one to five, excuse me. Divisions one to five. And here's the um, division six target, which is your four inch circle for 22 Rimfire. Uh, this again will take you to the website. Here we have links to all of the different division leaders, and we I'd like to say thank you to Carju, uh, 3D Video, Orgear, Rick Nethery, Tudenom, and Distract Teach for being our division leaders for 2022. All a bunch of great guys. Really, really appreciate their time. And of course, here is your email to send your submission to. Once you film it and you've got all of your your information together in an email, that's where you send it to. And that is the portal. So here we have the chart for um, 2021, a top 34 shooters for Division 1. And you can see um, all, four, three different lines, colored lines on here. Starting with the blue line, that is actually um, the number of strikes on target for a total of 34 shooters. Um, you see that, that that's basically a flat line because, you know, generally people are in the around 10 strikes out of 20 strikes per target so they're getting 50 percent hits that's an average you can see obviously there's some people that have gotten more than that 15 16 17 18 hits uh, and so on but the, you get a little bit of variability 
So that's the number of hits on target is the blue line. The orange line, we see top score on the left and a low score on the right. That is, well, that's your score line. That's your score line. Um, so we, we have uh, on the left the highest score and then on the right we have the lowest score. The red line is the time it is taken for that shooter uh, to complete it. And the dotted line is just basically a time trend. So as you, as, you, as you go from the left to the right following the red line, the more time it takes for you to finish the competition, okay, no matter how well you've scored on the target, which is the blue line, you'll see that the, the, the longer it takes for you to finish your, um, your course of fire, your 20 round course of fire, generally the lower your score, which is the orange line. The, the, the shorter your time, the higher your score. If you see, so on the very left of the chart, you'll see the top score. Look where the red line is. Okay, it's it's low. You're you're talking um, seventy, so probably you know, sixty seconds to shoot twenty rounds through four different shooting positions, all unsupported shooting positions. And so if you if you follow that through, ultimately it's your time which is the deciding factor. Not necessarily how well you've printed on the target, but the time that you've, I mean, you've got to do reasonably well on the target, but it's the time that is the deciding factor because it's, it's you're, you're dividing your hits on target by your time. And the more time you have, the longer it took for you to complete it, the lower your score is going to be, even if you printed well on the target. Uh, that, that may not necessarily seem fair, but it's a, it's a ratio. It's a balance of accuracy and speed. And that is the spirit and kind of the intent of the Cabin Fever Challenge.